In this viewcast, a Vanderbilt researcher takes NeuroLaw through the wormhole. They're dirty, but do they work? A new way for voters to rate political ads. And love for Vandy goes global. Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. They're often one of the uglier aspects of an election and hard to escape. The Romney rule lets fat cats rig the system. Imagine a small American town two years from now if Obama is reelected. But which political commercials really have an impact on voters? Now, for the first time, there's a way to find out. The Vanderbilt YouGov ad rating project pulls a balanced sample of 600 Americans across the country on the newest political ads. Now, by democratizing the process, by giving the public a say, do they really think this ad's disgusting? Do they really think this ad's over the line? We'll now have some data that will allow us to sort that out. The poll is unique because folks can watch a commercial and then immediately rate it. And at least 200 of the voters are considered true independents. That is people who have no partisan stripe of, of either side because really in the end that's what this election is going to be about. It's going to be very close between Romney and Obama and it's going to be decided by the people who don't have strong partisan leanings because Republicans are going to in all likelihood vote for Romney. Democrats are in all likelihood going to vote for Obama and so now we need to know how these ads are playing to the so-called swing voter or in this case the pure independent. Follow poll results on the latest political ads and watch the full interview with the head of our political science department and negative ad expert John Gear on vanderbilt.edu slash ad rating. Loads of media are following the Vanderbilt YouGov ad rating project. C-SPAN, the Christian Science Monitor, U.S. News & World Report, Bloomberg, and many others reported on the launch. If you want to see all the news stories with Vanderbilt experts, sign up for the VU Today email at vutoday at vanderbilt.edu. Read more from our Vanderbilt political experts on our special Election View website. Go to vanderbilt.edu and search election. Can we eliminate evil? From political science to brain science, we love when Vanderbilt researchers share their expertise in cool and creative ways. Well, Owen Jones, who is one of the nation's few professors of both law and biology, studies the intersection of law and neuroscience. He took part in an episode of Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman, tackling the question, can we eliminate evil? What if we could peer into criminal minds and judge them on the evil we find there? That day may be coming soon, when the true motives of not just criminals, but also the people who judge them, are laid bare. This mock courtroom is part of Owen's laboratory, a place where he explores what goes on in the minds of criminals, judges, and juries. So we're seeing a lot of increasing effort to bring neuroscience into the courtroom, for better or for worse. Sometimes, for example, criminal defendants may uh, be bringing evidence of their own brain scans to try to uh, avoid conviction altogether, to say, I should not be held responsible. But Owen's focus is not so much on criminal brains as on the brains of the people who determine their guilt. And he's finding that the ways we judge evil behavior are severely flawed. Our legal system requires jurors to be amateur mind readers. They're supposed to figure out not just who did it, but what was the mental state of the person who did it. Do you remember the police coming to your house later that night? Uh, yeah, they woke me up at about 3 a.m. Owen has found that jurors are not good at distinguishing the gray areas of criminal intent. Emotional circumstances will bias their decisions. When emotions dominate, judgments are harsh. Vandy folks might recognize some familiar faces in the jury pool there. You can see the full episode still playing on the Science Channel, and then it'll be online. Just search Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. Owen Jones also runs the MacArthur Foundation Research Network on Law and Neuroscience. Follow the group's research on lawneuro.org. Why is Vanderbilt being called a hothouse for young scientists? Read about it on vanderbilt.edu, search hothouse, all one word. It's the sign that brings us all together. Check out some of our latest VU hand sign picks. 
I love the shot of current Vandy student David Sanchez on a camel in the Sahara Desert, but this has to be my favorite. Former Commodore mascot and 2008 grad Dan Rosenberg broke his hand and showed off the conveniently shaped cast. Way to represent. Check out all the pictures and download your own on VUCommodores.com. You just might see it here on ViewCast. Until next time, I'm Amy Wolf. Thank <laughs> you.